Hey, hey, hey there, and welcome to the Take One Spoiler Cast of The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 2. Now, um, when it comes down to it, a lot of people have been taken back by uh, The Walking Dead. I'm still on board. I still have hopes that, you know, it's going to give me more to just hold on to, but it's kind of like one of those situations like you kind of want something more to happen with this show uh you see a lot of the flaws but at the same time you're so heavily invested that you can't turn away you can't leave it alone you love this person and it's just i can't leave you i can't i try to but something keeps pulling me back but in any case um this episode kind of like uh it was a decent episode i'm not even gonna lie but let me get right into it. Um, this this episode was just more of showing Rick and his group at like a united front. And them basically just taking out the post. Just kind of like, uh, I ain't going to say elaborating, but kind of like continuing what they were doing in the, uh, in the first episode. Where they were just like taking out post and doing all this stuff. That's basically what they were doing in this. And they were just showing more of it. And so, uh, <clears throat> they're, it's showing that they're about business. That they're just, like, sitting here, they're, they're just bam, 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 you know, just shooting people, doing drive-bys and all that stuff. And, you know, it's crazy. And then you got, at one point, uh, King Ezekiel and his group uh, have their whole thing where they, like, shooting up people and, you know, taking out people and all this stuff. And it, it's, it's crazy. Like, uh, this episode was, I guess you could say, action-packed. So you know what that means. The next episode is not going to have really too much happening. That it happens with like certain shows. Where like you might have a show, you might have an episode where like a lot of crazy stuff happened. Like you know it's action packed. Duh, duh, duh. The next episode is going to be calmed down. So that's more than likely what I feel is going to like uh, come from this uh, next episode. Um... Uh, and just basically, literally throughout this whole episode is just nothing but shootouts. Nothing but shootouts. And uh, it's, it's showing, like, just the three different places. Like, Rick and, um, uh, freaking, what's his name? Gosh, I am blanking like a mother lover. <laughs> but in any case, uh, so we got, uh, Rick and, uh, Norman Reedus character. Uh, I want to feel like, I feel like I, I, I'm, I have it right there. Gosh, I'm just blanking. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm tired right now. So yeah, they, they're, they're taking out a post or whatnot. And then you get, uh, King Ezekiel and them taking out a post. And then, uh, the guy, uh, the gay guy, I, I, I forgot his name. You, you got him and his people taking out a post. And then you got, uh, Jesus. And um, Tara taking out a post of theirs, and and Morgan is with them, and all that stuff. And it's a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, you got Morgan with two other guys who basically get shot after open after the door is open when they're like trying to sneak in and get the sneak attack on like uh, these people that's behind the door. The door opens, they end up uh, getting shot, and for a moment you think that. Uh, Morgan is like dead, but we know better. We know that it's going to be at a point where, you know, he's, uh, kind of faked dead, but you know, he's not really dead. So that's basically really what it was. Uh, and one thing that I kind of got from this, uh, whole show is that the moral of it was basically finding out whether, what was, uh, right and wrong with like killing because all throughout the all throughout the uh the the episode it's like oh damn should i kill this person you know uh i want to kill this person no don't kill this person we this is what we're supposed to do we're supposed to kill this person no we're not supposed to kill them and even though they surrender it's like they they don't want to kill them you know uh they're supposed to but they don't want to my whole thing on it and i'm gonna just talk on it for a good little minute uh for however long whatever i don't care it's a freaking spoiler but 
my whole thing on it is like, okay, so yeah, they surrender. But you got to think. Had these guys have the chance to be in the same position as you, they're not going to do that. What they're going to do is that maybe if they do take you hostage, they're going to bring you to Negan or have Negan come to you. And if that happens, in a sense, you might as well just be executing them yourself. And that's basically what it is. So I, I feel like letting them live is kind of like the worst mistake. Just like the part where Tara wanted to kill a guy who's up in the closet and, you know, uh, not not the gay guy. But uh, who was up in the uh, closet and he had pissed himself and he had his hands up saying that he wasn't with the... He wasn't with Negan's group and all that stuff and how uh, he he just works for them and all that stuff. And come to find out that he was just playing around with them and, you know, just just to get the upper hand and stuff. And so it was like, damn. And that's where the whole thing comes in with uh, G with like uh, the whole right and wrong of like killing being wrong and you know should we let this person live should we let them die or should we kill them and this where the whole thing come in because jesus wants to keep the guy alive because he believes him tara wants to follow what the mission is which is kill all of them you know just just kill them and so she really is like really just wanting to kill him just wanting to just get it over with bam, bam. but jesus stops her and, and just says that like uh yo we you know we we're not gonna do that he's surrendering he got his hands up but then end up coming to find out that you know he's you know that you know he uh was faking so it's like damn you know like you know you should let her kill him you should have done that and then after that, when he has the gun to Jesus' head, and then Jesus, like, counters and uh, turns the gun on him, he still doesn't kill him. He knocks him out and ties him up. It's like, are you serious? Like, this this dude faked, tricked you. Not only that, took your gun away from you and put the gun to your head. Why would you not take that person out? You know, so I don't know, like, it, it, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of things that's going against, like, uh, one another. It's kind of, like, reminded me of the whole Dale thing before, like, spoiler alert. I mean, spoiler cast, but this is for a different thing or whatever. I mean, if you're watching this, obviously you've seen the other seasons. If you haven't, then I don't know what the hell you listening to this for. But in any case, um... So this reminds me of Dale when he was like uh, talking about killing and not killing and stuff like that. I believe that was in like season two. Yeah, I believe it was like season two. And uh, yeah, I mean, and with him dying and stuff like that, this is, this is just kind of like, kind of goes with that. It's just, they have like, certain people have certain morals and other people have other morals. Which I, I just, I, I feel like, they need to do some murdering. You got like these people who wouldn't who wouldn't literally hesitate to kill you. Who wouldn't hesitate to take your shit. The guy that held the gun to Jesus' head and basically just told him like, you know, uh, he don't care about Maggie and the baby and all that stuff. And it's like he's telling you this all to his name, all to your face. And literally stepping on the um, pills that she in need. And you still don't kill him? I, I just don't get it. Like, I mean, I get it, but it's like, come on, man. Who's going to give you more of a reason? It's like when um, Morgan had uh, held one of the, the, the guys that had attacked uh, Alexandria. When he held him down in the basement because he didn't want to kill nobody because of his beliefs at the time. It's like... And then he ended up getting out. It's like, why? These dudes is like over here killing for just whatever reason. And you're not sitting here trying to save the people. It's like, kill one, you save many. Like, I get the whole thing, but it's like, come on. I don't know. But, I mean, that's kind of more what it is. Uh, 
no more what it is, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, but um, I touched on that. Uh, I touched on that. Uh, and, and one of the other things that was actually pretty good that I liked about this show, uh, what, what about this uh, episode was um the gay guy. I don't even know his name. It's a, it's a lot of characters. Uh, you guys might remember, but the gay guy when he they were shooting up the uh, the one of the posts and all that stuff, and the woman was sitting there just like looking around, and she finally realized that like after she said that like they was gonna like move in and try and like you know get the upper hand by like moving closer to them, she realized that they wasn't just trying to you know just shoot and kill and all that stuff they had a plan and the plan was to basically shoot them to where it's like it gets to the point where they're creating walkers and i thought that was actually pretty cool that they had that plan in place to where it's like we're not just going in we're not just going in just to kill them that we're basically just shooting around whoever we kill we kill if we don't hit them in the head, of course, those are going to wake up and kill the other ones. Or at least distract them to the point where we can just take this shit over. And I thought that was actually a pretty cool scene and all that stuff. Especially when she figured it out. Like, oh, shit. You know, like, they, they, they're they trying to create walkers and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I found that was actually pretty cool. Then up in this uh, episode, we find out that uh, Morgan is a... Uh, the black John Wick because he literally grabs the gun and you and like I said in the uh, other uh, spoiler cast that he abandoned his whole beliefs because he's going around just popping dudes off just bam 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 he on business this is the black John Wick he's doing headshot after headshot after headshot just like killing the hell out of these motherfuckers uh, and so uh Basically, we have the whole King Ezekiel thing where they're doing the manhunt. Well, the poses they took out here, one guy would get away. And so they're tracking him throughout the forest. And uh, Carol, she's kind of like, you know, oh, he's going to get away. She's, you know, just kind of, I ain't going to say down or lost hope. That she's not really optimistic about him being found and that he's going to sound off to other people and all that stuff and king ezekiel's like yo I, I, man i gotta have faith I, I gotta believe you know i gotta be optimistic that we're gonna do this you know not only for myself but basically for the rest of my people i gotta keep them uh optimistic you know i gotta keep them hopeful basically in so many words is what he was saying not those exact words but you know indirectly uh but that's basically what he was saying and so they uh, track him all throughout the uh, episode. They ended up finding him, but it was a uh, Shiva, his uh, pet tiger, that ended up taking him down, which is actually a pretty cool kill. And so um, from then on, they end up finding out that word got out to the other rest of their group that they basically are going to be ready for when Rick's groups come or whatever to whatever post that they're going to be at. And so King Ezekiel's like, yo. I don't care if they know. We're going to win. They have to have. He, he has his idea of winning. And that that's what's going to happen. You know. So that's basically what it is. His mind frame is on winning and all that stuff. And uh, I think that's really about it. Like I said. These spoiler casts. Not going to really run too too long. They're spoiler reviews of shows or uh, movies. So. If they run this long, then they run this long. I don't go for the 20, 30 minute rule or whatever. They go for a short a time from like 12 to whatever, 12 to like 20 minutes or maybe 20 to an hour. It's whatever. But I'm going to end it right there. And uh, like, thank you guys for listening. And um, hope you guys stay tuned to every single episode that I have of this. And I have different episode spoiler cast also for the show the gifted on fox that's an x-men type series or whatever i was gonna try and do some for more uh shows or whatever like the flash arrow and stuff like that supergirl or just whatever show but godly i have so much stuff to do 
I wish I had more time. If I did, I would do some for like probably about five or six other shows. But this, yeah, working a job and doing this is taking up a lot of my time, a lot of it. So these are the two shows that I'm focused on. I'm going to do a spoiler cast on, uh, I say the first half of, uh, I think it's what season three of uh, Flash. Once it get, once it goes to that break, in between, like basically uh, before Christmas and then, you know after Christmas next year and all that stuff. Uh, when it comes back on, as well as uh, Arrow and Supergirl and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe one for like God, Legends of the Tomorrow. I don't know. I'm still kind of fuzzy on that. But, you know, whatever. But I'm going to do a spoiler cast on like the first half of all those episodes in the culmination. And then I'm going to do a review on it as well. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to figure it out as it'll go along. But in any case, I'm just rambling along. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on your notifications. That way you'll be notified for anything that appears on my channel. And uh, check out everything else. Everything is in the description below from social media and all my other works. Everything that I have that's creative on my channel and all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.